Around 1,000 cattlemen gathered in Murfreesboro for the annual Tennessee Cattlemen's Association Convention in late January. As usual, the convention featured a large trade show, speakers on evolving topics in the cattle industry, and an opportunity for producers to discuss issues. People enjoy coming here. It's a good location for us. We tend to have our bigger crowds here. We've got, I think, 93 or 4 vendors here. So, like you said, it's a good chance to get together with folks and see people you only see maybe once a year and, and talk about the issues that are important to us. TCA Executive Vice President Charles Horde says it's important for producers to gather at events like this, especially after the last two years of dealing with the pandemic. While discussion on policy and issues is a big aspect of the TCA convention, Association President Jay Yergen says there's something for everybody. You know, I think convention can be whatever you want it to be for different people. Uh, for me, I think it's the networking, meeting people, uh, leaders from different industry groups. Uh, you know, some people are here to for education, for speakers, uh, you know, we've got uh, we've got some groups joining us, like the the vets from across the state are here for continuing education. Uh, there's a lot of things go on at our convention, and some people are here uh, basically shopping. You know, they're looking at at, at items in our trade show, uh, equipment they're looking to purchase for their farm, uh, seeing demonstrations. So I think our convention can be whatever you want it to be. That's one nice thing about about the cattle, there's lots of different ways you can be involved in the industry and do something completely different than your neighbor. And uh, we're glad to have, have, have all those people join us at convention and, and see what all there is to offer. Several key figures in the agriculture industry were given awards, including outgoing Deputy Tennessee Agriculture Commissioner Tom Womack, who's retiring after serving in the department for 35 years. That was uh, especially uh, meaningful coming from Jay Jurgen, somebody has been a leader leader in the Farm Bureau for a long time and a great producer, somebody I admire and respect. And I've had the chance to work with some great people, great leaders. I, I mentioned them in, uh, in the banquet, uh, Lafayette Williams and Gary Daniel and Jennifer Houston and Emmett Rawls and Jim Neal and all those folks that have been so instrumental to this organization and this industry. I've tried to learn from each and every one of them. Some of the hot topics discussed at this year's convention was the cattle marketing and pricing issues and the ongoing supply chain and inflation issues facing farmers. And producers had the chance to share those concerns with lawmakers as U.S. Congressman Scott Desjardins and Tennessee U.S. Senators Marsha Blackburn and Bill Haggerty spoke at the convention. It's just a great group of guys and uh, we've had a good relationship. I, as you know, have been on the Ag Committee going into my 12th year now. And so uh, we got a farm bill coming up in 2023 and I want to make sure that I understand what issues uh, are, are pressing with them. I'll share what issues are on my radar. We, we've got to solve the supply chain issue. It's, it's a huge issue. You know, we, we've got maybe some issues with the uh, packers, but people go to the store and, you know, they're buying $6 hamburger and $30 filet. And they're thinking, wow, the, the cattlemen must be making a killing. But we know that those prices have stayed the same. In fact, COVID really uh, created a, a, a problem for them. And so we, we've got to make sure that things are fair uh, with the packers to the producers. It is vitally important that I hear from the farming community. When you see a seven, eight, nine percent inflation rate, when you see inflation that is in the higher double digits when it comes to energy cost, all of this affects what you're going to be able to make from a production standpoint, especially when you see the downward pressure that is being placed on cattle. You know, I heard very clearly today, and I've heard it uh, for months from producers, that they are not seeing the types of increase you know, at the production level that we're seeing at the store. Uh, the inflation that's creeping through the system has been massive. The dislocations have been a real problem. But we're looking hard at what's causing this. There's an oligopoly that uh, handles the, uh, the processing industry. There's a lot of concern about what may be happening there, the pricing power that they enjoy. And we're looking very hard at ways to create more transparency and deal with this situation. Farm Bureau and Cattlemen's are very important to me because I rely on you all to basically bring the, the perspective, the point of view of your farmers to bear. You all are where the rubber meets the road. You can see the impact of these policies that don't make sense. You can see problems that need to be addressed. This is a means that you have to bring those problems to bear, whether it's to our local offices or to us in Washington, so that we can then begin to put that on the legislative agenda. So, you know, to have those national representatives here, you know, taking the time to visit with us and we're hopefully putting on a show for them and letting them see, you know, what kind of uh, industry we are. And uh, so it, 
you know, it all works together. We have to uh, get stronger and make sure we're uh, finding our voice and, and representing them and then we bring them in and they can talk to us and hear from us and Tennessee's a long state and you know we got the guys coming in from Washington County down here and we got the guys coming in from the Mississippi River and you know uh, the issues may be a little different but we're all working on the same team and trying to accomplish things and you know make sure everybody's voices are being heard. Jurgen says all parts of the TCA convention are important in bringing unity to the cattle industry and making it stronger. It doesn't matter what you're doing in life, you want to be better at what you do. And, and this is just another tool for our producers to be able to get together and, and share ideas, uh, learn something. You know, we, can, we bring in speakers from across the U.S. To, to come hopefully teach people something they didn't know. You know, we want, we want our organization to grow and, and be able to serve more people.